uh, be ready so you don't have to get ready. Um, when did you find out Kelly wasn't playing? When did you get an inkling you would play? And honestly, what was it just like to get out there and be with the guys? I had a little bit of an idea after uh, film this morning. You know, we, we obviously go through our game plan and then, you know, do everything to get prepared. And Spo had just mentioned during the meeting, you know, every, everybody's got to be ready, stay ready to play, and Myers, it could be you. So at that point, you know, I always go through my mental prep, and I'm always locked into the scattering port and trying to do my best from the sideline. And then obviously, if I get out there, I, I'm more than prepared. So um, it was, I mean, it was incredible to be out there. You know, I, um, you know, this is why NBA players play basketball. This is why we train all off season. This is why we fight during the regular season. And I'm just truly inspired by this team, you know, to, to be around guys like UD, Jimmy, Bam, on down the line. Um, you know, it's just um, – it was a great feeling to be back out there. And, you know, I, I still have some time yet. But I can assure you this. I'm going to give it my all. And, you know, when my number is called, do my best. Andreas Lopez, Cultura Sports. Thank you, Myers. Um, we've seen you throughout this series extremely active on the bench. You're never sitting down. You're always on your feet, on the sidelines, next to the coach, yelling at your teammates. To be able to get your uh, first few minutes in the playoffs this season today, that's huge. But what role have you played from the sidelines in the success that your team has had so far? You know what? I, I truly, truly believe that everything matters. And first of all, Spo talks about this all the time. And it's enjoy somebody else's success. And, you know, obviously I went down with, with a pretty bad ankle injury. And although that was prior to COVID, unfortunately, I'm still dealing with some of the effects of that. So with that being said, I'm fighting like hell every single day uh, to get back to 100%. I really am. Man, I was I was so damn blessed to be a part of, um, you know, that starting unit that won a lot of games. And I still am very blessed. And however I can help impact winning, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I, I don't take this for granted. Uh, you know, if my voice can be heard from the sideline, then that's what I'm going to do. I will study the scouting report. If I can see something coming and, you know, we win that one possession and that one possession wins us the game, well, then I've done my job. And, you know, uh, I'm just going to reiterate, like I am constantly, constantly inspired by the um, mentality in this locker room, our willingness to keep fighting, um, you know, next man up. And I'm just going to say this. Jimmy Butler is one hell of a leader, and we have a lot of other great leaders, but I'm inspired. I really am uh, to continue to get better, and however I can help, I'm going to do that. Anthony Chang. Hey, Myers. You've been around Jimmy for a whole season now. It's just, you know, obviously Jimmy led the way the entire year, but it just seems like Jimmy's turned it up a notch. What, what have you learned about him in this postseason? Well, I've said this since I got here and since I've gotten to know Jimmy because I, I, I do – feel as though I know him pretty damn well. And he is the ultimate competitor. And everybody wondered, oh, well, you know, is he too competitive or is he an asshole? No, he's not. He's a winner. And he expects the same level of focus, effort, energy, mental focus from his teammates. And you are seeing him not only do it himself, but he's bringing the best out of others as well, the entire team. And I'm going to tell you right now, there was a timeout. I think it was maybe roughly, I don't know, six and a half minutes left on the clock. And UD told Jimmy, you go out there and be the best player on this floor. No matter what happens, you're going to lead us to this win. And that's what he's done. His level of focus, um, you know, when it comes to the scout, getting uh, getting guys, you know, involved in our offense. I mean, his intangibles on the defensive end are just off the charts. There's no other way to put it other than the fact that Jimmy Butler is a damn good leader, he's a damn good teammate, and he is one hell of a player, and he is high-level impact on both ends. Dave Hyde? Yeah, hi. Uh, could you describe what it was like in the to watch and play in that fourth quarter, 40 to 13? Uh, I'm sorry, you know, one more time? To the, the fourth quarter, what was it like to – watch and play in a team in that uh, with these consequences outscore another 40 to 13. I'm inspired. I'll say it again. Uh, truly, truly. 
you know, I've I've been blessed to have some some moments myself in the playoffs. You know, I will truly do anything I can to help us win, whether again, whether that's with my voice or whether that's if I'm out there, you know, um, it was just incredible. I mean, I, I at no point did I feel like, oh, man, we, we could just chalk this one up, you know, and that will be up two one and we'll figure it out for game four. No, no. When you got somebody like Jimmy Butler leading the way, when you have a young superstar in Bam Adebayo, when you have Goran Dragic who's been there, done that, when you have a captain in UD who is constantly in the huddles, you know, inspiring us play after play and giving every bit of effort mentally that he can, it's just we're truly built for it, you know, from top to bottom. And that's what's been inspiring me. Last question, Tim Reynolds. Myers, I'm sure you were asked this on some level, so I apologize, but five seeds don't take 3-0 leads on one seeds, and one seeds don't get swept in the conference semifinals very often, if ever. The the realization, I mean, I know there's still one more to get, but the fact that you have the best team in the NBA regular season anyway in this hole, what's it say about, about, about you guys? Listen, this is what I said for nearly this entire interview. Um, when you have leaders – and players that have been there, you, you're going to give yourself a chance to win. We have dogs in our locker room, starting with Jimmy, Goron, who's proven, Bam, young superstar. I mean, I mean, just, I, I personally can see it. You know, I wish I was out there doing more. I'm not right now. However, I said it in our, in our, in our prep. I was like, look, we are a nightmare matchup for them, and I believe that. I know that. We have the best player in this series, number one. Um, we have winners in this locker room and that's that we are game planning and executing, uh, with precision. And at the end of the day, we got guys that fight and want to win. And that's, that's just as simple as it is. Now we still got one more game to go. Make no mistake. All of our guys will be locked in. We're going to make the tweaks that we need to make, but you know, we feel good about who we are as a team from top to bottom, whether you're getting zero minutes. I mean, every, everybody's important. And again, I'm just constantly inspired um, by these guys and, you know, looking to improve myself, but you know, this is, it's been a good series. We just got to close it out. Myers. Thank you. For